Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and one of your colleagues sent me this question, and I think it's a really good question, so I decided to make a video of it. <clears throat> We're going to solve and graph the inequality that you see right here. So let's begin. I've got 37 minus, I'm going to distribute the minus sign. So I'll have minus 4x minus 5 is less than or equal to, I'm going to distribute the 2, 2x plus 4 plus x. Now I have my first line. I'm going to combine my like terms on the left side and my like terms on the right side, just like I would do if I were working on an equation. So we'll have 37 minus 5 is 32, and bring down the minus 4x, and that's less than or equal to 2x plus x is 3x, plus 4. Now, if we were working on an equation, and this is where um, uh, inequalities are a little different from equations, you want to always put your letters, your variables, on the left side. It makes graphing much easier. You can still get the problem right if you put your variables on the right hand side, but it becomes much, much more difficult to decide when you're graphing which way to point your arrow. Okay, so I always put my variables on the left side of the inequality sign. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides of the inequality. That will give me 32 minus 7x, and it's very easy to make a mistake here. Remember that minus 4x minus 3x is really negative 4x plus negative 3x, which is negative 7x. All right, that's less than or equal to 3x minus 3x gives you a 0, and you bring down the 4. Now I'm going to move my constant term, 32, over to the other constant term, 7. So I'll subtract 32, and I'll subtract 32 from both sides of this equation. I'll have negative 7 x is less than or equal to, let's see, 32 minus 4 would be 8, 28, but the larger number is negative, so our answer is going to be negative 28. Of course, you can do that with a calculator in a much more straightforward way. I'm just not taking time to drag out the calculator. All right, now comes the tricky part. Very different from an equation. When I divide both sides of this inequality by negative 7, a negative number, I have to flip the signs. I have to turn it around. So I will divide by negative 7, and I will divide by negative 7, but I turn the sign around because I divided by a negative number. Now the negative 7's cancel out, leaving me with an x, and then I have greater than or equal to negative 28 divided by negative 7 is positive 4. Okay, let's try putting that answer in here. Okay, we're going to do greater than or equal to 4. We're going to see if that's right. Hold your breath. Yay! Okay. Now let's talk about the graph. The answer is B, by the way, but let's talk about 
y. Here's the number line. Whoop, infinity. Negative infinity. And here's 0 in the middle. And we've got 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now our answer tells us that x might equal 4. It might equal 5, 6, 7. It might equal 4.00001. It'll equal any number to the right of 4. So I draw a bracket around 4 and then an arrow pointing to the right. So that definitely is B. And we use a bracket because this is greater than or equal to. Whenever you have the line underneath the inequality sign, you use a bracket. OK, good luck doing this yourself. And have a good day.